the obelisk of Theodosius is the ancient Egyptian obelisk of Pharaoh Thutmose III re-erected in the Hippodrome of Constantinople by the Roman Emperor Theodosius I in the 4th century AD. History the obelisk was first set up by Thutmose III to the south of the seventh pylon of the great temple of Karnak. The Roman Emperor Constantius II had it and another obelisk transported along the river Nile to Alexandria to commemorate his Ventenalia or 20 years on the throne in 357. The other obelisk was erected on the spina of the Circus Maximus in Rome in the autumn of that year and is today known as the Lateran Obelisk. Whilst the obelisk that would become the obelisk of Theodosius remained in Alexandria until 390, when Theodosius I had it transported to Constantinople and put up on the spina of the Hippodrome there. Description Obelisk The obelisk of Theodosius is of red granite from Aswan and was originally 30 meters tall, like the Lateran obelisk. The lower part was damaged in antiquity, probably during its transport or re-erection, and so the obelisk is today only 18.54 meters high, or 25.6 meters if the base is included. Between the four corners of the obelisk and the pedestal are four bronze cubes, used in its transportation and re-erection. Each of its four faces has a single central column of inscription, celebrating Thutmose III's victory over the Mitanni which took place on the banks of the Euphrates in about 1450 BC. Bottom of the inscription, top of the inscription, pedestal The marble pedestal had bas-reliefs dating to the time of the obelisk's re-erection in Constantinople. On one face Theodosius I is shown offering the crown of victory to the winner in the chariot races, framed between arches and Corinthian columns, with happy spectators, musicians and dancers assisting in the ceremony. In the bottom right of this scene is the water organ of Cts Ibis and on the left another instrument, the emperor and his court, the chariot race, submission of the barbarians. There are obvious traces of major damage to the pedestal and energetic restoration of it. Missing pieces have been replaced, at the pedestal's bottom corners, by cubes of porphyry resting on the bronze cubes already mentioned. The bronze and porphyry cubes are of identical form and dimensions. There is also a vertical gash up one of the obelisk's faces, which looks like a canal from above. These repairs to the base may be linked to the cracking of the obelisk itself after it's suffering a serious accident at an unknown date in antiquity. The emperor and his court, bronze and porphyry cubes, gash, transport of the obelisk, traces of a vertical gash. Inscriptions The pedestal's east face bears an inscription in five Latin hexameters. This is slightly broken at the bottom but it was transcribed in full by travelers in the 16th century. It reads, D-I-F-F-I-C-I-L-I-S-Q-V-O-N-D-A-M-D-O-M-I-N-I-S Parere S-E-R-E-N-I-S-I-V-S-S-V-S-E-T-E-X-T-I-N-C-T-I-S-P-A-L-M-A-M-P-O-R-T-A-R-E-T-Y-R-A-N-N-I-S Omnia T-H-E-O-D-O-S-I-O-C-E-D-V-N-T-S-V-B-O-L-I-Q-V-E-P-E-R-E-N-N-I Tedenis Sik V-I-C-T-V-S Ego D-O-M-I-T-V-S-Q-V-D-I-E-B-V-S-I-V-D-I-C-E-S-V-B-P-R-O-C-L-O-S-V-P-E-R-A-S-E-L-A-T-V-S-A-D-A-V-R-A-S Translation Though formally I opposed resistance, I was ordered to obey the serene masters and to carry their palm, once the tyrants had been overcome. All things yield to Theodosius and to his everlasting descendants. This is true of me too, I was mastered and overcome in three times ten days and raised towards the upper air, under Governor Proculus, on the west face the same idea is repeated in two elegiac couplets rendered in Byzantine Greek, though this time it reports that the re-erection took 32 days not 30. 
KIONATETEPA PI LAMBDA REYPONAEIX THETA ONI KEIMENON AX THETA OCMOYNOCANACTHCAI THETA A DELTA RO CIOCBACI LAMBDA EYC TA LAMBDA MHCAC PI POC LAMBDA OCE PI EKEK LAMBDA RETU KI TO COCECTH KEY OMEGA AND HE LAMBDA IOIC NTPIAKONTA Delta Yo translation This column with four sides which lay on the earth only the emperor Theodosius dared to lift again its burden Reclos was invited to execute his order and this great column stood up in 32 days Bibliography Labib Pabachi, The Obelisks of Egypt, Skyscrapers of the Past, American University in Cairo Press, 1985, ISBN 977-424-022-7. Obelisk of Theodosius, in Volume 3 of Alexander Kajdan, The Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium, Three Volumes, Oxford University Press, 1991, ISBN 0-19-504652-8. Jean-Pierre Sodini, Images Sculptae Assez Propaganda Imperiale du Ivo Vi Sickles, Recherches Recentes sur les Colonnes Honorifics et les Reliefs Politiques à Byzance, Byzance et les Images, La Documentation Française, Paris, 1994, ISBN 2-11-003198-0, pp. 43-94, E.A. Wallace Budge, Cleopatra's Needles and Other Egyptian Obelisks, The Religious Tract Society, London, 1926. Linda Safran, Points of View. The Theodosian Obelisk Base in Context, Greek, Roman, and Byzantine Studies 34, no. 4, pp. 409-435.